Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and I'm continuing our HTML5 project. Now our project has been pretty much all set up. We've got the various screens, we've got styling, it's got geolocation, very cool. Now on our example that I've given you so far, if you go to vmcampos.com sdce, uh, you'll see the mobile device, a live version of it. If you go to this on your mobile device, you should see right away the mobile version of the site, no problem. But if you go to the site on a desktop browser, you'll see a couple of things. One is that you will get a pop-up that says, visit us next time on your mobile device with some technical detail. After you click OK, then it shows us the desktop version of the project and if we were on the desktop we would then use it and and we're done but if we were on mobile device we've also got a button at the bottom that says visit the mobile site we click there and then it's the mobile optimized version well what I want to do is set up this screen where it detects are you on a mobile device or are you on a desktop device? That'll be some JavaScript. So in order for this to work, you have to think about this. Let's look here. When we go to the address, what we're actually looking at at this point is index.html. We go to that address, we get the pop-up, it has detected we're on a desktop. If we were on mobile, it would automatically take us to, notice the address, stce slash mobile slash index.html. So there's an index file in a mobile folder, and we're directed to it as necessary. So we need a file before the mobile version. In Blackboard, I have added a fake index file, which is basically this this fake index file here without the extra coding yet. So you want to make sure you download that uh, fake index file so we can use it. Then what we need to do is set up a different, slightly different folder structure. I've downloaded my fake HTML, fake index HTML file, and then I've got the mobile project. So I'm going to create a new folder, and this is optional but recommended, and called website. Inside of that folder I'm going to add the fake index file and then the mobile project. So in the main website we've got fake and then mobile. Might as well rename fake to say index because the first page of every website is index. Now this index file is our temporary um, desktop version and um, we want to make it so that that link right there goes to the right place number one and then number two is that it has some auto detection so let's edit our brand new index file that fake index file it's a very simple file uh, what we want to fix is on line seven that uh, isn't quite right. Our folder structure says mobile website, mobile underscore website. Inside of mobile underscore website, we have the index file for the mobile project. So we can have more than one HTML file, more than one index HTML, as long as they're separated by folders. So mobile, I forgot the name already, mobile site, mobile website. Mobile website. So on line 7, I've changed my link so that this goes to the mobile website. What that does is, if we refresh this, if you click on mobile website, it goes to the mobile website. Well, I don't want simply a click, I want a browser detection script so that it knows, are you on the desktop or are you on mobile? And here's how this will work. Uh, either the desktop user or the mobile user will first go to this page and then the detection happens. So that means we're going to edit our index file here. We're going to add JavaScript here. We can add JavaScript in a variety of places. 
in the file, but since it's read from top to bottom, we're going to add it near the top so that this uh, the detection happens first and then we get sent to the right place. So that means in the head section, I'm going to add a section of script slash script. Now anything that goes inside a script will be JavaScript. And here's what I want to do. We're going to tap into the various um, parameters that every web browser automatically gives away when it connects to a site. Every web browser lets the website know we're a Firefox web browser on a Windows computer, or we're Google Chrome on a Mac, or we are an iPhone, or we are an Android phone, etc. So in order for us to find out uh, what, uh, what that is, that's known as the user agent. So here's what we'll do. We'll say alert, open and close parentheses, semicolon. This will basically make a pop-up screen. And I want to know what's the, uh, uh, what's the, it's called the user agent. What's the, what are the details of this web browser? So we'll say navigator dot user agent, capital A. Let's see what that does. So we've, we're about to make a pop-up screen. I'm going to refresh my page. Oops, wrong one. That's the problem of having too many windows open. This one here. OK, here's our, here's our version. Refresh. Pop-up window happens with a lot of gibberish. Mozilla 5.0, Windows NT 6.3, WoW 64, Apple WebKit, etc. This is basically the user agent. This is saying, this is broadcasting, what web browser are we using? In my case here it says Chrome. Uh, it also says Safari. So this can be a little bit tricky uh, to figure out exactly what you want to do. But come back on our next video and we are on our way to creating a browser detection script that will take us to the correct website.